Welcome to Motorhome and Campervan News May 2022. In this video I look at diesel vehicles to pay more for car parking, the sale of new diesel and petrol vehicles on the decline and fixing your campervan could become illegal. You can find links to all the news articles in the video description and I've also provided timestamps. Wait until the end of the video for bloopers and outtakes and let us know how much you enjoyed the video by leaving a comment and giving it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of our videos then why not subscribe and ring that notification bell. This month I've received a couple of news articles from subscribers. If you have any motorhome or campervan news that you'd like to tell me about then please leave a comment with a link to the news article and you may get your name mentioned. I was made aware of our first news item by a subscriber. Thanks to Westies. This is from their local paper The Courier and Advertiser. Highland Perthshire residents fear return of dirty campers destroying beauty spots as summer looms. This is mainly about wild campers in tents, but also involves motorhome and camper vans while camping too. Over the past couple of years, residents have had to put up with campers destroying beauty spots by lighting fires and leaving litter and excrement. As a result, Perth and Kinross Council have hired countryside rangers to educate campers clean up litter and reassure locals. The council is also in talks with various organisations and landowners to provide better facilities such as more parking, toilets and waste management. I think you'll agree that these photos show how disgusting some campers, tenters or motorhomers can be. Such people should really be ashamed of themselves. The Express has had a few articles about this next one Lewisham Council in London has introduced emission-based parking charges to Beckenham Place Park car park. This means that a diesel vehicle can pay around three times as much as an electric vehicle depending on whether the vehicle is Euro 6 compliant or not. It might, like, it might be just one car park and you may have never heard of Lewisham, let alone want to park your motorhome in one of its car parks. But with an expected £300,000 profit per year, I'm sure other councils around the country will cotton onto the idea and make it a more commonplace in the next few years. I'm starting to get the feeling that they are really now pushing diesel vehicles off the roads. And this next article kind of proves that. You're probably aware by now that the UK is banning the sale of new petrol and diesel vehicles in 2030. And everyone has an opinion about this according to the Express. But the interesting part of this article is this graph. Since 2019, the sale of petrol vehicles has fallen and electric and hybrid sales have increased. Since most motorhomes are diesel, that's what we are most interested in. And you can see the sales of diesel vehicles has shrunk back to where electric and hybrid sales were a few years ago. Most of these vehicles are going to be cars rather than vans. But either way, diesel is on the decline. And a few people have said that buying a diesel vehicle or even petrol isn't a good financial decision. But what do you think? Will you be buying a petrol or diesel vehicle in the next few years? Are electric vans ready for motorhomers or camper vanners? Let us know by leaving, an, leaving a comment. Now for some shocking news. Everyone loves a beach. The sun, the sand, the sea. And I think most people would love to drive their car or motorhome on the beach. That would be just so cool, wouldn't it? Well, Wales Online has a photo that might shock you. This motorhome got stuck on the soft sand at Black Rock Sands Beach near Port Maddock. After a few attempts to pull the motorhome out with a 4x4, a tractor was used and managed to finally get it out. Hopefully, not much damage was caused, but it does remind me of the scene in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. 
From the Mallorca Daily Bulletin, we have this scary headline, UK driving licenses no longer valid in Spain. Don't worry, this doesn't affect drivers visiting Spain, such as holiday makers. It's for those British citizens who have moved to Spain and are using their UK license. If you have a valid UK driving license and you are now a resident of Spain, then your valid UK license will be recognised for six months from the date you obtained residency. This gives you time to acquire a Spanish licence. I was made aware of this next article by a subscriber. Thanks Bob Earnshaw. I've seen and heard other people mention that the government wants to make it illegal for us to fix or improve our vehicles. And if you've seen any of our motorhome maintenance videos, then you'll already know that we are happy to fix anything that goes wrong on our motorhome. So you see, this is very important. From the government website, the future of transport regulatory review, modernizing vehicle standards, is a consultation report seeking people's opinions on its proposed changes. It talks about the future of vehicles, especially self-driving vehicles and other innovations and how they are regulated and kept safe and secure. It then talks about tampering with vehicles to bypass, defeat, reduce the effectiveness of or render inoperative a system, part or component. Which I think has to be a good idea, right? You don't want someone fitting a gizmo or installing software which bypasses the security feature. Otherwise, you could end up with a self-driving car getting road rage or a car like Christine. Anyway, it also says that these proposals are not to prevent motorsports or prevent restoration, repairs or legitimate improvements to vehicles such as classic cars and, of course, motorhomes. But what do you think? If you had a self-driving car or a camper van, would you want to fiddle with it? Or do you think I'm missing something here? Let us know in the comments. This means that a diesel... It might not be, it might not be, it might not be, <laughs> it might not be. The D's from the, from the Mallorca, from the Mallorca, Mallorca, that's it. If you like, you can find all the news, art, I can, you can find links to all the news. I, that's it for this month. Like, subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.